it sort of started out of left field a little bit, uh, and this release came out of left field for a lot of people that were following AudioScape at the time. You know, they, they didn't expect, you know, we're mainly doing compressors, EQs, maybe a preamp, and then no one expected a reverb, especially an all analog reverb. I think what's really unique about it and what's really cool is most people, they, they, they think about spring reverbs, they think about like, oh, I'm gonna change the decay time, or they think about like, couple floppy springs in their guitar amp or something like that they don't think about an actual professional device that's yeah cr like essentially creating a echo chamber or room with springs and that's what this does so and yeah. all the springs are very like precisely cut that's why you can't adjust the decay time because we're essentially artificially creating a cathedral exactly and there you can see we uh, wrap the sensitive components the pickups and uh, what's called fish paper and then mu metal shielding. The origins of this product act actually uh, came from the original XL305. From the early 80s, late 70s, they were de developing this. And we actually worked with the original designer on this to bring it back. And there was a couple things he wanted to change to open up and hear more of the spring assembly. And uh, so that's why these are so sensitive. We have to wrap them in this shielding and all of this because you can really hear like every little bit of the spring assembly and it's it's truly it's a beautiful beautiful device and one thing we added that the uh, original didn't have as well as the parallel wet switches and essentially what this does is say if the mix is all the way up at 100 percent then you know in parallel mode you're going to get 50 percent wet which is really handy as well to use we're not going to completely cease production on it but we are prioritizing some other new products that are coming. We're always, if you follow AudioScape, you know we're always doing new products. So we're sort of not actively selling it on our website at the moment, but if you reach out and you know we feel like we're gonna do maybe a small run here or there or something like that, just reach out and we'll see if we can work it into our production flow. It might take a little bit longer than products we regularly sell.